Well, the 41st annual Bakersfield Christmas Parade ready to roll through downtown. Joining us now with some insider tips on how to best enjoy the parade with your friends and family this Thursday. We have Sylvia Carricker from the Bakersfield Christmas Parade Committee. I just said hello to you during the break. It's one of the busiest women in town. Right now, yeah. Right now, it's that final crunch time. How you doing for all the preps? Well, you know what? I thought my plate was clear because I got no, no emails, no phone calls over the weekend and then yesterday. Oh, my Lord. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm clearing things from my I played as quickly as I can. There are a lot of people asking questions, and the one is, when is it? <laughs> Okay, Thursday, December 7th. Oh my gosh, that's just a couple days away. <laughs> yeah, you think? It's coming up, yes. <laughs> so anyway, we're, we're just trying to get all the little pieces in place. Um, one of the biggest things is parking. Yes. And when you've got a... Uh, well, you know how it is. When you've got a car full of kids and you can't find a parking space, I have to get in the consent, and you're just like... Everybody chill. I'm trying to find a parking space. They start blocking the streets downtown around 4 o'clock. Okay. And there's a little map on our website, bcparade.com. Bakersfield, B is in Bakersfield, C is in Christmas Parade. bcparade.com. That shows you what streets are going to be blocked off starting around 4. And they put these great big huge like concrete trucks right in the middle of the street so you cannot get past. And then, of course, there are security guards and BPD out there. They want to keep that clear. And then the staging area, which is right behind the studio for streets and streets and streets blocks, uh, that is also unavailable. Well, I've seen people set up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They're out there. I'll drive by, roll down my window. Hey, you guys are here pretty early. Well, we, we love this spot. Your choice. But some people think, well, I'll leave at 5 and I'll find some parking and be there by... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, and they're not going to let you through those barricades. It's no, for the not. safety of all the pedestrians and all of the animals and everything involved in this parade. So you're going to park out of the way. You're going to watch for pedestrians while you're walking in. What do we need to bring with us? Coats. Coats. <laughs> <laughs> like it's hot I don't care what ones. Kevin says. It's not <laughs> mild temperatures. No, it's going to be like 60 degrees, 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you have chairs and the kids get chilled, well, and I really, oh, and where are the bathrooms? I don't even know where the bathrooms are. They're on that map. Okay. So you can find one pretty easily. But yeah, bring coats. Um, if you bring blankets, again, I think you're um, a fraidy mommy like I am. <laughs> so you, you have people sitting on the curb and there's blankets spread for the kids, but the kids keep getting closer and closer to the middle of the street. And now I'm freaking out. Mm -hmm. You know, back up, back, back up, up, please. Everybody, please back up. This is just good. <sighs> We're I think that's why I like the blanket, mommies. right? I like the blanket because it's like, don't you can't leave, don't leave the edge of that blanket. And then it also helps protect you a little bit from that cold concrete underneath. It does not, however, protect you from a 50-piece band marching right on top of and you. And they're going to go float. right by, too. They are going to go. <laughs> I like to be closer to the parade. Well, you don't want to be part of the parade. Exactly. So that's, I keep, I used to broadcast from the street, and I would tell people, you know, please keep your kids back mm -hmm. from, and they go, oh, okay, well, here comes another group, and they want to get close, so they get in front of them. Right. No. And now we have a little tussle going. Okay. So we we have security Perfect. and you'll be able to see them. BPD is doing BPD things, but we have security. Going to remind people to kind of stay back. Please don't run in the street. If you're afloat, you have an, uh, an entry. Please don't throw things <laughs> from there because kids will kill themselves for a stupid peppermint candy cane. Right. They'll lay there in the street for that last one. Yeah. So, you know, thank you for being a Freddy mom. I thought I was the <laughs> only, I thought maybe I was the only one in Kern County. My girls are so little and so excited that I, I do want those insider tips. So thank you so much for sharing sure. again that website, bcparade.com. Yes. You've got everything on there. We have everything on KGT as well. We're streaming it on KGT.com and on our app on Thursday if you're not going in person. And Christmas Day morning. And Christmas Day morning. And the 23rd at 6 p.m. It'll be all the places. Yeah. We yeah. love the parade. Record it and play it back if you're opening your gifts later. Oh, It'd be, it's just that. really cool because it's at that, that's Christmas. It's that local magic. I know. Joyful, joyful. Sylvia, thank you I so much. I still love the name of that. By. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, we are so thrilled to be hosting along with you. Of course, you're doing all the hard work and we appreciate all that you're I, doing. I'll be over Friday morning. <laughs> it's kind of sad. A big I may even go out to breakfast. Oh, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be right back because she mentioned the weather. Kevin has your parade forecast.